99 lorry drivers out of 100 will give you a bit of space. There's always one. There's always one who will think that it's his road, not a cyclist's road. And the cyclist should be off the road, not in the road. I just look up and see him like bouncing off of a lorry. And as he was coming away from the lorry, I literally, I was just like, no. I just screamed no. Because I was like, that's just, that's not possible. That's not feasible. That's just not allowed. Okay. Go, go. In the split second after I got hit, I was just thinking, please, please don't drag me under the wheels. Please don't let me go under the wheels because if I go under the wheels, I'm dead. His shoe went flying and he like fell to the floor. It was like a... <gasps> kind of noise. I kind of like put up his t-shirt on his back and he had this huge like gash on his back and I was like, Ooh, that's not good. Ah. Oh, please. Ah. I'm in bits. I've never been hit that hard. Well, I've never been hit by, by an articulated lorry before. I've had many near-death experiences in my life. I've been held up at Arrow Point by Amerindians. I've been held up at gunpoint by drugs traffickers. I've been bombed and mortared by the Taliban in Afghanistan. That was up there. That was very, very close to death. 